Hello everyone. Today we will talk about how to set up a simple camera collision and occlusion system. For those who are good in programming and just need the solution, here it is. Now for the noobs, let's start. Here I have a simple scene. Please pay attention to the hierarchy, especially to the player object. I have an empty object called player, which has two children, one is our player object, another is, camera base which has our main camera as its child. I have assigned the camera script to the camera base object, which is pretty simple script. I simply get mouse input from each axis, X and Y. Then I rotate the camera base object according to that input and change its position to our target's position. Whole setup looks like this. Here you will see how the camera simply goes inside these rigid objects, which doesn't look in nice and breaks our immersion and sometimes even blocks our view. Now to fix this, on our camera script. Here note you can also have this as a separate script and assign it top the camera itself, but I like everything in one place. First we'll create a vector 3 called camera direction and a float called cam distance. Then we create a vector 2 called camera distance min max. In the x value, we assign, the closest we want our camera from the player. In the y value, we assign the farthest we want our camera from the player. You can also have these as separate floats. Then we create a transform called cam which will be referenced to our main camera as transform. In the start function we assign some values. Now in here I'll create a void called check camera occlusion and collision, which takes a transform parameter called cam. Then we get our desired camera position using a function called transform point. You can learn more about it from the link in description. After that, we do a line cast from camera base object's position to our desired camera position. And if we have any objects in between these, we change our float cam distance using mathf function called clamp. If we don't have anything in between, we set the cam distance value to the farthest we want our camera to be. Then we change our camera's local position according to the cam distance variable. Now let's test our code. You can see it works. Now you can implement it in anything. Like here, I have the same script, I have made some tweaks which only depend on your choice. And everything looks great. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions, problems or concerns.